Hey guys, Matt Gunnison here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about you know how to stop the cravings for that junk food and how to give your body what it really needs. You know, it's interesting when we created the body belief system, the system, Sherry and I, you know, we realized, uh, you know, our whole foundation is based on the fact that the subconscious mind is what determines your results. Um, so, you know, consciously, you may say to yourself, I want to lose weight. But the subconscious mind is really obeying the conscious mind at a, you know, a much deeper level than you're consciously aware of. And so that is ultimately the cause of being overweight, um, of why we can't seem to get the results that we want in our life, uh, whether it be physically or, you know, financially, whatever it is that we're trying to accomplish in our life. It's because the subconscious mind is programmed from an early, early age, and uh, here we are trying to say, well, this is what I want. Well, the subconscious mind was programmed, and so we need to learn to communicate. That's exactly what we show in the body belief system, is how to get the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, to communicate together in such a way that uh, you're actually going to be consciously uh, doing what it is that you're uh, uh, programmed into your subconscious mind that you say that is going to happen. Um, it's kind of more than we could cover really on this um, video because what we're going to talk about in this video is just some the things that you can do uh, to stop the physical cravings for food. So, you know, the, 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 the idea here is that ultimately we are craving something, right? Whether it be something emo mental, emotional, spiritual, or physical. And so often you hear people say, well, there's just this, this hole inside me. And I keep eating to fill this hole inside me. So, you know, 80% of being overweight or, or uh, being obese, often emotional, you know, for a lot of people. There's something going on emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. Uh, physically, usually, you know, what we like we talk about, we know what to do, right? We know the right foods to eat. We know how to exercise, right? It's just like there's just like this block there and we can't seem to overcome that and just do the actions that we know are going to help us yield the results that we want. And so it's exactly what we focus on the body belief system. And that's why we feel it's so important uh, because no exercise DVD or workout program is addressing the real causes and how to solve those real problems like motivation. You know, uh, imagine if you were motivated to actually do what it is that you say that you want to do. And that's exactly uh, what we show you uh, in the system. But let's talk about the physical cravings. Some information that I recently learned that I'm going to pass on to you. You know, I just got done reading uh, John Gabriel's book, The Gabriel Method. And, well, actually, I'm still reading it. And But what I wanted to highlight is the parts that he talks about with the physical cravings. And like I said, mentioned earlier, you know, it, if we're craving something, we're trying to fill that need. And for 10% of the folks, it might be, trying to fill that need uh, we, that you're when you're actually malnourished, as weird and ironic as it might sound, we might be 400 pounds, but we're actually malnourished. And so we're not getting exactly what it is our body needs. First off, I want to talk about something that we may not have even realized, which is sunlight. Yeah, sunlight. You know, sunlight is high in that, uh, I believe it's vitamin D3. And, you know, in, in this day and age, a lot of people are indoors, working inside a lot of times. We're actually not going out there and getting in touch with nature as much as um, as we used to back in the old days, you know, back in primitive times and how important that is for our bodies. So we may not be getting enough of that. And, you know, you can just stand out in the sunlight just a couple minutes a day, have your palms um, open, you know, and just, you know, just soak up, the, soak up the rays and that could be so good for you. Um, you know, I've heard the story that, uh, you know, people with bipolar in Alaska, you know, what they would do is uh, uh, have them sit in front of UV lights, uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. And that was very helpful to them at times when it's just dark all the time because, you know, people just we need that sunlight. So anyway, so that's one thing. Now, talk about physically what we're ingesting. Um, uh, what John says and, and what the research is showing is that. You know, people aren't getting enough omega-3 fatty acids. Now, this is something I didn't know. So uh, when you get enough of this stuff, then you actually can stop the physical cravings for the, the food that, you know, is just, you know, it's crap, right? Because we just keep eating this crap over and over and our body's still hungry, amazing as that sounds. 
so omega-3 fatty acids, you can get that from fish. Um, at the less cook on the fish, the better. I personally, I'm going to cook my fish. But one of the way that you can do it, a uh, real safe way, is through uh, uh, flax seeds. So if you put sprinkle flax seeds um, cold, you know, so sprinkle it over your salad, um, let your food cool, and then sprinkle it over that, then uh, you can get that omega-3 fatty acids. The problem is, like, if you deep fry fish, you know, you've, you've probably killed all the essential um, and the, the value of all of that oil that was in there, if, if there is oil still left. So, um, so that's one thing. Um, another thing is protein. Now, it might seem crazy because you think that most people get enough protein, but actually what it is is often we, we're eating a lot of protein, like burgers and stuff like that, but our bodies may not be assimilating the protein in the right way in order to uh, build muscle or maintain muscle. And so often our bodies are, are actually craving that protein that we're not getting. You know, it was found that a baby, you know, when they are first breastfeed, breastfeeding, they get that colostrum. It, you know, it's that first stuff before the breast milk. It may, it's actually not that high in protein, but it's high in the right kind of protein. And so when you get the right kind of protein, then the aminos are able to join together to form proteins in your body quicker and easier. And so you can get that through whey, whey protein, just pure whey protein, uh, no additives. Um, now it's, you know, a little grainy, right? But, um, hey, <laughs> it does the trick. And I, and I will, uh, you know, uh, I used to, when I was running track, you know, I took these amino, amino pills and my legs just went like that. And it's amazing how just getting the right aminos, um, to your body can do amazing things. So, um, you know, the other thing is essential sugars that your body needs that you may not get. Obviously, uh, fruits and vegetables, right? You eat that stuff. It's going to have the essential sugars. also has uh, fiber, lots of other, you know, vitamins, good stuff, right? And, of course, as much as possible, um, eat your vegetables raw. Uh, so in the morning, you know, what I, what I would do is um, what I still do is uh, I throw some broccoli, some spinach, uh, cabbage, some carrots. Uh, throw it in with uh, some protein and some milk and uh, banana. Blend it all together. Uh, you know, it tastes actually not too bad. And, uh, you know, I found that that gives me the right kind of energy I need. Um, also helps that cravings for the, the crap. And then what I do is a slow carb uh, diet. So um, I eat, uh, <clears throat> I drink that shake in the morning and then I don't eat any carbs. So from bread or simple carbs, you know, stuff like that until about noon. Then I eat, you know, bread and cookies and stuff like that. I do, you know, <laughs> I got the cookie cravings. Uh, but then I stop eating that around six o'clock in the evening, or at least I try to, you know, <laughs> sometimes I cheat, but that's okay. You know, I'm okay with it because my goals, and that's one of the things we talk about in body belief system, you know, as long as you have your goals in place and you've decided it's going to happen, it, there, there really isn't anything stopping you from making it happen. You could eat all the crap you want. It doesn't matter because you've consciously chosen and subconsciously chosen. You've aligned yourself with your what you're going to do and you're just going to do it so um it's but that's why i say not necessarily what you eat but those are some key things that we just addressed some key things that you can put in to stop the physical cravings for the crap and to give your body what it needs and what we found what i found personally is when i'm when i take that shake in the morning i don't crave as nearly as much crap as i used to crave and i used to have you know like uh, you know, cold cereal in the morning, which is fine, but it's, you know, it's just not, uh, as nutrient rich as eating those vegetable, cold vegetables, um, in the morning. And I just feel a lot healthier, have a lot more energy. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Hopefully that will help you give you the right kind of information that you need to help re reshape the body into the body that is, that you desire. Um, of course, in our body belief system, we cover a whole gamut of things. We talk about the the real causes of being overweight, and that's where we talk about the emotional, mental, and spiritual needs. And when you fill those mental, emotional, and spiritual needs, and you align yourself, we talk about coherence. When you're coherent with your goals, it's just going to happen, right? It's just boom. It's like you've decided that this body that you desire is yours, and you're just going to make it happen. So, and that's where where workout DVDs and fitness programs are cutting it short. They're not really addressing these things. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, feel free to throw it a like, comment, subscribe, 
And uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much.